friends, MD Vegan. My juice fasting day is today. And I make a nice beet juice. I'm really a fan of beets. They are perhaps one of the most, the plant with the most um, flavor varieties. So many combination with beets and from a, from a really earthen flavor, the earthy flavor, the beet turns into something fruit and light, fruity and light. I really it's amazing and especially I experienced that when I combine it with a mango. You have two ripe mangoes and two smaller beets. Yeah, a little bit more mango than beet here. That was my first experience. I guess it was mango and beet. It's an amazing combination. You don't believe what kind of flavor it comes out of mango and beet. And I will combine it today with an orange. I have also two oranges. Here. That's almost about the same quantity. A little bit more uh, mango, but orange also. And one lemon here and a piece of ginger. That's my addition for today. So, this juice is ready. And, um, well, the quantity is about more than a liter. You can see this when this when this um, carafe is full, that's about a liter, so it's a little bit more. And I have uh, almost the same amount of oranges and beet and mango, but a slightly overwhelming mango. So it's a, it's a mango juice basically. And um, the mango and the beet, as I said, are the main the main flavor uh, carriers. And the orange comes in to make it more juicy and sweet to give it a little roundness. That's something I will try now. And the ginger and the lemon I showed you finally um, before the break. Um, that is uh, to make it really more intense. Yeah, to make it to unfold the flavors. Yeah, orange, uh, lemon, and uh, sorry, lemon and ginger. Uh, that is a very nice combination. These two especially they uh, f make it the the flavor kind of um, flowering, blossoming. Yeah, like a blossom that goes up and it falls into many directions. That's really what, to me, uh, the combination um, of um, lemon and ginger does to many different recipes. So basically I have a combination of main ingredients and I refine that with um, lemon and ginger. This is the plan for today. Now I will stir a little bit because that's important because uh, when I do several batches here in the juicer um, it has to be combined everything um, to make a really to taste judge about the, the flavor. So that's what I'm going to do now. I taste it. I'll let you know in a moment. Mm. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. It's really good. The ginger is there. I can taste it. The lemon is there. It's a nice sour touch. Very nice. Especially together with the, with the red beet. There's a predominance of the red beet. Two beets in here, that's a lot, a lot of beet power. <laughs> beet is full of um, um, color red, that is like the blood, at the same substance, it is um, a lot of iron in there, and the iron can take a lot of oxygen in, and so the beet transports the oxygen to everywhere in the body. If you have a workout something to do, or you have a hard work to do, you can drink the beet before, and you get more strength during the workout. And it's really true. This works, beet is amazing for that. It also has the, all the nice ingredients that we need <coughs> to put it all everywhere we need it. Um, and the mango and the orange here is mainly for the flavor, but also very healthy, of course, both of them. Orange is one of my main fru uh, favorite fruit, I'd say, yeah, because it's so well available. You can get orange everywhere nowadays, you see. It's my juice, it has a nice color. Yeah. And it's also a nice texture, it's a, a, th a thick juice, yeah, because when I put it through the juicer several times until most of the juice is out, has been pressed out, then what remains is not so much. It's from five large fruit. You have this uh, uh, trester, the pulp, and I will dig that in the garden. So it's a favorite for the plants to grow on that. You don't need to wait. Just Dig it in the garden 
and a little bit under the earth, and then the, the plants will have great, great fun and <laughs> growing. Um, and yeah, I'm very glad, I'm very happy with this result. Yeah. I knew the combination of orange, beet, and mango was great, and now I refine it with lemon and ginger to make it even greater. Um, always depends what I want. Yeah. It's about the quantities, the proportions among the main fruit. And of course, um, if I want to refine it, it's a different flavor. I wouldn't say it's greater. It's just different. Yeah, it's a different flavor. Yeah, sometimes I like it more basic flavor, basic flavor, simple things. Sometimes I like it a little bit more refined. And of course, that shows me the direction into um, more refined recipes or other recipes, uh, soups, dressings, even cakes. Yeah, I can many can do many things uh, based on the on the experience. I get from the juicing and yeah now didn't talk a lot about juicing today because it's my gentle juice fasting day once a week it's very healthy it makes me uh, very um, feel very comfortable yeah my body needs it already uh, happy to, to not eat anything it just um, uh, the my nutrients go directly into the blood and my intestine my, my tummy here is has vacation <laughs> and I can take care of what myself I can meditate I can um, be creative and uh, purifying myself uh, body and mind it's very useful if you like you can also come to my Facebook site we have a group there um, our Facebook site tree yoga moon fasting it's a very nice site and um, some people are there and regularly posting their recipes or just watching what happens and with the flannel fasting community it's nothing big small thing um, and the other sites are Andy Vegan, of course, on Facebook, and you find me also on YouTube. You can subscribe to my channel. You find another recipe every single day, day, day there, and you also find me on Instagram and Pinterest and Twitter. And so, I hope to see you soon.